Okay, here we go. Not to find that ship. Oh, if I only hadn't replaced my blaster's teleport with that hair dry function. that unlock just want to check that I didn't miss something very early on with 230 boxes anything can happen okay right I saw a gem there Wow, okay. Well, I'm gonna let myself die because I tried to ram, like, headbutt myself into into that bit and I couldn't, so. Since I'm on a bit of a roll from getting all the, the boxes in the previous one, why not? I mean, 189 boxes and I managed them all. For me, that's like, that's the biggest victory in that sense that I've had the entire game. Okay, there you go. So now I have to see which one's which. Really? Okay. Oh, come on, I was on like the last pixel of it. Seriously. It's not very well defined, the edges of the electric, electrified bit. But we'll get there. Oh, God's sake. They've made that really... Off to the flying start here. I think the cool text levels will be interesting for time trials with all of the dashing. Like figuring out when you can dash. Okay. That's better. Now I'll let myself fall on this bit. That's more like. Them. For some reason, because they're glowing red, I was worried that I had to, like, if I stepped on them, something would happen. And to be honest, they still might. I wasn't sure if I could get away with not dashing. So a lot of things ran through my mind uh, at that moment, because I was like, if I dash, I might dash too far and end up underneath the second one. So I decided not to dash, but then I was like, if I don't dash, the bottom bit is red, so maybe there's a chance I'll screw something up there. So a lot of things happened in a short space of time there. So I'll take another look at it. Yeah, so I don't know if I can just run straight over, so there's only one way to find out. Uh, so yeah, 100% they're wanting to dash. There you go. That's how I learn these things. <laughs> but we're going to get all the boxes, so it's all good. We're good. We found the hidden gem, and we're going to get all the boxes, so it's all good. Watch me get all them boxes. Gonna crush it. I'm gonna stand a bit further back here. Sometimes I forget you don't have to jump to be able to dash. Okay. Still no checkpoint. Yeah, there you go. You all knew that was going to happen, didn't you? Right, this should be the checkpoint after this, surely. Yeah. It's about time. Roll credits. 
<laughs> it's nice to be able to do that again. Hold on, hold on. Hold! Oh, what? I almost died as a result of that. So you can't get the, the gelatine with these? That sucks. Oh. I thought there was going to be a box. No gelatine for us here. Damn it. It's not how I wanted that entire bit to play out, but fine. Yeah, that, that definitely wasn't it either. Because there was two of them at once, it just... got range as well. I can't seem to aim at them. There you go. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to... Oh, look at that. It's cheeky. You can see it's not... Especially when you're at an angle, it's not easy to aim. I shouldn't be missing this TNT that many times. There you go. Wow. <laughs> How's your dashing? Bad is the answer. <sighs> yep, tough level. I'm going to try not jumping here. You see, like, when you don't jump, then you don't get the distance. So you have to jump, but then the added air time makes it even harder when they're whizzing around. So you're going one direction. The platform you need is another direction. That's really nasty. It's easily the most difficult jumping section for Cortex that we've encountered. So prepare for like 25, 30 deaths on this level. 13 already, and we've just had one checkpoint. See, like, I can't make the second jump, it's too far. And I'm jumping off the edge of the first one, so what the hell am I supposed to do there? What? That's that's literally the, the furthest that this guy can jump. So, I'm not understanding that. I'm kind of tired of doing this bit over and over again. Really, he's got no spin move, so <laughs> you have to kind of clear them, I guess. But at least I got to the end for the first time. have to do is get one of the boxes and that'll be fine because obviously they've timed it so that if you dash you can always make it to the next one that's on your plane so that's not too bad the two times where I've got the second box I've died immediately afterwards it's like if I could just stabilize for a second after getting that second box I'd be able to make it but I put everything into getting the second box and I die Really? Wow. Let's just keep missing. It's gonna happen. Okay. How is that possible? How did I even do that? Again, it's another one of those where even if I tried, I could not have done I could not have done that. If I gave myself 50 goes to replicate what I did there, I wouldn't be able to do it. I guarantee you. Just 
risking agonizing you closer to be able to do that. It's been a bit of a jigsaw puzzle, but I finally managed to get there. Fuck you. There you go. Took me a while. Sticking to the sides is a good idea. <laughs> Not that far to the side, though. So I thought this was to do with like some sort of secret box or something, but it just turns out it's just just normal level. Go try and do this and shoot the one above. Ah. So it's only that or gelatine? What? Oh, okay. Deliberately chose the version that gave me less air. On this. The margins are so small. <sighs> yeah, this has been the worst level for a while. So all of this stuff was just to get through the main level. So yeah, this goes down to a very tough level. <laughs> okay, I went a bit too far with that one. So now I've got to create some sort of chain here. Oh, it's not that crash. You can't jump onto it and kill it. That sucks. Okay, finally. Getting close. Fuck you. Fuck you. Snipe me out of the sky. Gonna need a double mask for this because I'm that shit at it, so... We'll just wait until it comes. I'm sure it will. I've done it so many times I've started to memorize this section now. It's time to feel breezy. The lack of control on the gelatine ones just makes it tough. Yeah, I jumped the gun. I'm getting impatient now, really impatient. Just want to get on with it. Okay, I think I was on the right track by keeping it to the side. In fact, they just will not let you get up there. Finally. Son of a bitch. Oh. 
Right. We've only got 70 boxes so far. Shit's about to change. Only 10 lives left. Oh yeah, we're switching back to Crash now. I spent so long on that Cortex level, I forgot. So, like I say, they're short, um, these like alternate timeline sections, but I think they try to to sort of match it by by really extending out, um, by really making it difficult. So, instead of having like a long section, you have a short section that's very difficult and needs a lot of repeat attempts. So that's like I guess that's their own version of of balancing things, perhaps. And then from here on, things are slightly different. Uh, like that. It's been a while since I had to do one of those. See, from here on, okay, I mean, even if the arrangements are slightly different, it still feels too much like the same level to make it particularly fun. So that's why I still contend that you probably shouldn't do these back-to-back -back like I did. I've done it twice now, and both times it's felt like, well, I'm kind of just doing the same level again. Only 10 lives left, though. It's been the first time I've got this low in a long time. Might not be able to make it, who knows. Oh, you can't. There's a delay there. That's why they put that Wumpa Fruit there. They're just baiting you with it. Once you flip back up after getting that Wumpa, there's like the first time I pressed it, it didn't work. Yeah, now it's gone to shit now. Yeah, fuck that Wumpa Fruit. This time we got it. Yeah, I still don't understand how that's supposed to work. If you if you double jump, you end up hitting the heat pipes like I did all those other times. So I don't know what they want. This stage, I don't care. We have that. There we go. Come on. Far away. Now we've got another variation of this. I guess if I got all the boxes with Cortex, there's a chance I might be able to get all the boxes here. But I think there'll be a hidden gem. That's incredibly tough. Then again, if I just blow up all the nitros, I wouldn't have to do anything, would I? Really? Oh, 
no, 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 no. I was trying to, like... You can see that tiny little ledge on the side. I want to see, because there's a bit where you can blow up the nitros. I might not need to take any unnecessary risks with that. Because having that beam plus that is just like, no, it's not going to work. Just try it for kicks. I think that's about as good as I can get it. You see what I mean? Like, nailing those is just... I thought I'd try it once just to, just to say that I did, but I'm going to go for the try and explode all the nitros to get all the boxes thing. 58 boxes. Whoa. I can get the first one for the Wumper. But that's about it. Yeah, collectively, this level's had the most deaths out of all of them. 38. And although the bonus ones don't count, you can kind of use it as a gauge. Okay, so this is a tiny little ledge that I wanted to get on. It's taken me about four goes to do it, but I managed it at last go me. Now look at this particular jump that we need to make here. That's crazy. That's crazy. Um, right, just about staying alive here. Quite sure how, but I've managed it. Right, that's as good as you're getting from me. Okay, so now here's where the fun's really going to begin as we do these. <laughs> <laughs> it turns into a nitro. What dickheads. Okay, so this is officially the hardest bonus round by a mile. By an absolute mile. It's just multiple things that you have to really get right. And you have to spend some time learning the actual level. It's basically a level in and of itself. So lots of little fine margins, so you've got to clip onto the ledge and all that kind of shit. I don't know, maybe there's other ways to do it, but I'm just feeding my way through it. It's really nasty. Because uh, you kind of use the the gravity thing like jumps. Sometimes you press jump instead of gravity and gravity instead of jump. I didn't think I was going to get the second one. So, like I say, learning the, learning the level, seeing what works, what doesn't. It's the ultimate game of trial and error if you're playing without a guide. Normally I love playing without a guide. Always, always, always do that when I play. But this is one game where once I'm done, that you can bet your bottom dollar I'm going to get a fucking guide. Seriously. Well, get a guide meaning just go on YouTube and find every single thing. <laughs> I'll do the deathless runs obviously without a guide, that, does, that has nothing to do with it, but not deathless, you get what I mean. Less than three deaths. And I'll probably give every single flashback tape a go as well. And I'll probably give the, the Platinum Relics a go as well without a guide, but when it comes to the all box gems, like a billion percent, I'm going to go for a guide. Wow. Because of the acceleration as well, like if you... If it covers like a, a lot of distance, but it's really quick. Okay. There we go. So, now... Do we have to go back to here? Okay, yes, yeah, these ones. Okay. 
There we go. So, now. What do we have to go back to here? Okay, yes, yeah, these ones. No, I didn't realize there were flame boxes. <laughs> I never even looked at them because I was like, I don't need to even consider those right now. I did all the hard work. Oh, this level is it's disgusting. It's really horrible. Ugh. I'm telling you, man. All in. Cuphead is nothing on this. Seriously. I think I'm crazy, then fair enough, but that's just how I feel, man. I take Cuphead style difficulty over this one any day. With Cuphead, like, there's just so little to it in terms of what you've got to do. It's just like, you know, reflexes and and kind of jumping and ducking, and there isn't really much else to it. But this game, there's just so much to it, and all of it is hard. <laughs> it's just it's like maybe 10, 15 different things you kind of need to master overall for every single character to really get a, a handle on things and to stop dying. And the game is just so long and relentless as well. Uh, there's just so many things to think about every fucking time. With Cuphead, because it's just singular levels that are quite sort of short, the repetition is is so much more. So in a short amount of time, you repeat things a lot more. And there's only like certain mechanics that you have to grasp in order to, to master a level. So in that sense, it's not too bad. But with this one, you just have this constantly changing. Every, no level is, is pretty much like another one. And then you have different characters coming in. You've got different things to do. You've got different masks. And this is over the course of just like tens and tens of levels. Tens and tens of hours. And we're not even counting trying to actually get every single box. And then trying to do all the platinum relics and stuff. Like when you go all in, it's, it's way, way harder than, than, than Cuphead when you consider everything. I'm pretty adamant about that. This time, let's try not to screw it up. It is just funny though, like, previously, even those three jumps that I just made there, like, they were some of, like, the harder things that you needed to do in a Crash Bandicoot game, especially one. But now, that's like, I've, I feel like I pretty much mastered that stuff. But, it's just like, it's so, of such little relevance now. <laughs> That that's just like the basics of the basics. If you can't do that, then you shouldn't even play this game. But it used to be a fairly high level skill back in the day. So there I was, kind of impressing myself with my ability to... My ability to do this stuff. But now this is just like... If you can't do those, you're never even going to get close to completing the game. It's largely similar, but they just throw in a few little differences here and there to keep it fresh. So now I've got to do three of these. Oh, come on. That's, the f that's literally the first time that's happened. Literally the first time. They've made this one a lot more difficult now. Yep. Okay, now I'm in danger again. Of potentially getting a game over. I'm 
definitely in danger now. One, two, three, extra boom. But now this bit here. I was going to say, I need to see if a singular jump is enough. Uh, horrible. We're really piling it on for the end of the game. So like, literally, even even this little bit is, is tough. Like for a Crash Bandicoot game, it's tough. But not in this game, not anymore. There you go. I thought he was going to hit the nitro. I thought he was going to blow up the nitro. This, this level has just absolutely broken me. I think the, the Coco one in the marshes was horrible as well. But that one was also horrible just because of how difficult um, it was to get all the boxes. This one is just hard to, to even complete the level. There you go. That's what I need to do. And now they give me a checkpoint here. Thanks, guys. We'll see. Since last time I got 79% Wumpa, I'm going to try my best to really get all of them. Since I feel like I might be in with a shot getting all the boxes again. So we're going to have this guy shooting at me. Come on. the finale. No checkpoints. Sheesh. Okay, I've got to... No, I missed it. How many do I get? Yeah, okay. If I get all the boxes there, I've got another all box gem. So it's going to be worth it. I think I'll miss the Wumpa Fruit Gem again, but it's fine. Screw it, I'll just move on here. Don't need to deal with those guys. Okay, come on. At least for almost 50 deaths, it would be worth it to be able to try and... Oh, the final one. Wait, did I blow it up with the nitros? Yes, I did. Yeah, boy. It's funny, though. The two times I got all boxes, I didn't get all Wumper. That's so strange. Like, they've constructed a level in such an annoying way, where it's like, no, like, even if you get all the boxes, you have to make sure you get enough Wumper. You've seen, in literally 95% of the levels I've done, I've always gotten enough Wumper. And now, the one time where I even get all of the boxes, the two times, sorry... They haven't given me enough Wumpa to, to get the third gem. Just like, fuck you, seriously. They're doing anything they can to just keep you playing this game forever, basically. <laughs> Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but you know what I mean.